Hi, it's Wayne Marshall here at the organ of St. Paul's Anglican Cathedral here in Valletta, Malta. And um, I'm here again rehearsing the Bach Prelude and Fugen A minor, BWV 543. Now, a couple of days ago, I put up a video um, describing how I rehearse this piece. And um, it's been very interesting to see the comments on Facebook and uh, YouTube about, about uh, you know, my approach to, to doing this. And actually putting the video up just to sort of show you you know, how one actually rehearses. Um, of course, I started to the piece, <clears throat> I've only been, started been, I've only been learning the piece just for a, for a week or so, but um, how I always start to learn a new piece is, of course, learning the, the manual parts at the piano. This is very, very important, because to me, the, the organ keyboard is not a real keyboard. You know, it's, you know it's, it doesn't make any sound. The only way you can make sounds on the keyboard is by drawing a, a, a stop. And no matter how hard you hit it, or how softly, it's always going to be the same. The only way you can make the organ sound louder is by drawing more stops. So it's always going to be the same. <coughs> so it's very important to <coughs> get the feeling of the keyboard in the hands. And the only way you can do this is by playing the piano. Simple. Um, it's, very, very, it's very, very important. And uh, I know some of you have asked me about why, so that's, that's, that, that's the reason why one should, you should do that. But you, know, you can't really learn a piece of music at the, at the organ. It's just not, not, not done. You just have to play it from the piano. Anyway, that's that. So um, today, um, what I'm going to talk about is registration. Now, I mean, the thing is that registration is such a, a personal thing. You can, you can play a piece in so many different ways. There's no one hard set, you know, set in stone way of registering a piece. You can play it how you like. I mean, because I mean, Bach never gave any kind of indications about how, um, what, how a piece should be registered, really. So it's up to, it's up to the organist really to decide exactly the kind of colours. And depending on the organ, don't forget that every single organ is different. There are no two organs alike anywhere in the world. So, um, you know, every organ is different, but uh, there is a kind of there is a kind of feeling, of course, that um, in Bach's day, of course, the, the organs would have been built in a particular way uh, with foundations and with mixtures. These are the things that create the harmonics and the, and the instruments. Um, and reeds, of course, which are the, 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 the parts of the pipes which have a, a moving part, which was to tune with a special um, uh, lever at the side. So just, that's in very simplistic terms. So, you know, you, you can decide. So every organ, of course, is different. So depending on the organ, so um, it's, it's, really up to, it's really up to the organ. In this, in this piece, of course, it really needs a kind of bold registration. So you can either use it without, a, you know, just like 8-4-2 mixture, or you can have it with a kind of more fuller sound, with a 16-8-4-2 mixture sound, you know, more replacement. So without the 16 foot, it's like this. Okay, and then <clears throat> with the 16 foot. You can hear that the sound is more full in the, in the manual parts because you are using a little bit another lower octave. <clears throat> so, you know, you can decide, but I think that this is the most important thing. Um, it's really up to you really what you do. Um, the other thing, of course, as I've been practicing this piece, I've been practicing it slowly, left hand pedals, right hand pedals are together, slowly on using reduced registration, so making the pedal part a bit more prominent. So it's very important that when you have anything together, you want to be able to hear the pedal part, because this is the new thing that you're rehearsing so you need to be able to hear it so it's always a good idea just to have it and then you can really feel it and hear it a little bit clearer and of course that all that, you know once you've learned all the manual parts things start to happen more automatically so you're not actually trying to struggle to think oh what note is this but you know it, it also does it, it all works uh, another thing that i've been doing uh in addition to that of course is, is now because i'm beginning to play it a bit more I record myself playing it. So that actually makes you focus a little bit more on playing, you know, trying to play as many right notes as possible. I mean, I'm still playing some wrong notes, but no, that's because I'm human. But, you know, as I'm learning the piece, I mean, it's, a, it's quite, it's a tricky piece as well. So, um, you know, it, it just has to have that kind of um, careful attention. So 
you know, what I can, I can, um, this may be, let's make a little recording. I'm going to use the bigger registration, the one that's a um, little bit more bold, uh, which uses the uh, 16 foot. Here we go. So actually recording it um, makes you, it just focuses your mind a little bit more on about how you want to play it and the sort of places that are always a bit, a little bit tricky that you have to just pay more, more of attention to. And, and there are many, of course, in this, in this, in this piece. And um, you know, so you just have to be you know, very, very conscientious about practicing it. One little, one little passage is this one. Because the pedal goes. You've got to make sure you're moving your body as well. So all of these little moves have all got to be practiced and rehearsed so that you actually know exactly what you're doing. Okay, so we move on to the fugue. And again, I'm going to use a similar kind of registration for this, um, just to make it a little bit more sort of prominent, and like this.
Yeah, you see, I'm human, you know, <clears throat> and I do make mistakes. But anyway, that's the, that's the, that's the kind of gist of the, of the whole thing. So, you know, I have to just practice it more and more. The more and more I practice it, the better it gets. And, you know, I've got to find, I've got to find my way of playing it. And everybody has to find their way of playing a piece. I mean, that's the whole point of it. You can never, never try to copy someone else's performance. You've got to find your own, you know, your own rhythm, your own styles, tempo, all of these things. So, you know, it's just a question of, of how you, um, you know, approach the piece and, and learn it, really learn it. all these little tricky passages. And as I said, there are so many of them in this piece and um, this, this few, there's quite a few of them, but you just have to make sure you practice them. You know, we've got, it's, it's basically like three, it's like counterpoint in three, three, three lines of counterpoint, mainly this fugue. But, um, you know, it's, it's, just a, it's just a wonderful piece and uh, I'm just so happy to be able to, to learn it in, you know, in the time that I have. And um, of course, this, during this pandemic, <laughs> you know, I have a lot of time on my hands, but um, it's just nice to be able to sit down and learn a piece which I've always wanted to play for a long time. So, okay, so we'll look forward to the next video and um, I shall probably put this up and then uh, thank you again for listening. And, you know, the most important thing is practice hard and long.